fans of the Bay Area, the Cobb out of San Francisco, Monday night, February 3rd. This past week, I had an opportunity to discuss at length with good friends of mine, Carl Baswitz with the Golden State Warriors, David Lipschultz, of course, the uh, empresario and uh, entrepreneur here in the San Francisco area uh, from KCBS, good friend of mine, uh, Ted Robinson. Jimmy Hart, come on in. Of course, uh, on this card, you're going to be seeing Tito Santana as Intercontinental Champ going against Big the Macho deal. Man Randy Savage. Please, give me a break. Big deal. The British Bulldogs, are they awesome? Going up against the members of your Hart Foundation, Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. You know, let me tell you something, baby. The Hart Foundation, we took care of the killer bees. We got rid of Uncle Elmer and his old partner, Cousin Junior. Now it's going to be the Bulldogs because, you see, we want a shot at those world belts. That's well, in our future. Uh, there's no question in my mind that the winner of this one will be getting a shot at Tag That's Team right. Champions That's right. The Valentine. championship, the championship. You know, what are you out here name dropping for? I'm so sick of you talking about everybody in the world. We want to talk about the one and only, the next world champion. I'll make that a promise to you right now to all the fans out there of this next man, adorable Adrian Adonis. Oh, come here, adorable. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. All right, Hulk Hogan, heavyweight champion of the world, is going to be defending against this man. You uh, prefer that I call you Adrian or Adorable? Adorable. Adorable. How, how did you ever get that name? Mm, I woke up in the morning, I thought I was Mrs. Adonis. <laughs> All right. For some reason, I get the impression you're letting your personal life interfere with your professional life, uh, Adorable. Hulk Hogan, heavyweight champion, and you have a shot at becoming the next champion of the world. You think the pressure's on me? They call me the nerve. I relaxed today and I took the ferry boat to Alcatraz. What a relaxing afternoon. Now it's time to get down to business with Mr. Hogan, the man that's the head of the cartoon show. He's a busy, busy person. The man that has 22-inch arms. He's got a 200-pound head and it's all sand. It's like days of our lives and it's all going through the hourglass and so is his title. Remember this, Mr. Hogan, you've got so much to lose. Your popularity Keep all your over the off. country. You are number one in Hollywood and Variety magazine. You are all over the place. You're hanging around with Mr. T, the salt and pepper team of the United States. Can you imagine going down to Mr. Adrian Adonis in front of all his fans in San Francisco? Well, let me tell you something. It is a possibility. No, it is going to happen. I've waited all my life for this to happen, and I will not, will not embarrass myself in front of all my fans in San Francisco. The Cow Palace is going to be, is going to be where I win the world championship belt. Can you picture it now, the headlines? You're already excited. Hogan loses, cries on T's shoulder. That's it for Mr. <laughs> Hogan. All right, gentlemen, I thank you very much. Weird. Real. Palpata, San Francisco, Monday night, February 3rd, from top to bottom. Tremendous World Wrestling Federation action. I'm Vince McMahon, along with wrestling's living legend, Bruno Sammartino. We, of course, will look forward to the combination of Greg the Hammer Valentine and Brutus Beefcake squaring off against the combination we mentioned earlier on. About Excuse me. If it isn't Chet Huntley and David Brinkley, oh wow. Goodbye, Chet. Goodbye, David. Adrian Donis to also join us. Right now, let's take his opponent to be led down the aisle by the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, from New York City. Weighing 281 pounds, the adorable Adrian Adonis. Well, uh, there are certain things that defy description. Adrian, at 281 pounds. And Adrian is uh, finally is coming to his own. He stepping through. I don't, I'm not too sure about that color pink. <laughs> I'm not too sure about Adrian Adonis. <laughs> oh, boy, look at this. Look at his new blonde hair. He's got a flower on his ear. What kind of garment is that hanging? I'm not too sure. Uh, but Adrian likes it. There's no doubt about it. Adrian looking down at uh, disdain at this capacity crowd. And, oh, there's a touch of a little bow there on top of the ring post. Adrian Adonis, you may not like the style of Adonis. You may not like the look of Adonis. But Adrian, despite all of that, and despite all of his preferences, Adrian is, without a doubt, 
one of the most accomplished wrestlers from a scientific, well, actually from an overall standpoint, I would think. He's one of the most accomplished in professional wrestling today. There's no question about it. When Adrian Adonis is in there and he wants to wrestle, or if he has an opponent, a, a good caliber opponent that can give him a hard time, he'll, he'll display his uh, wrestling skills and he'll show anyone that he can be in there with the best of them. Uh, he is a, a, a tremendous wrestler. He has a terrific amateur background, and as a professional, he can do it all in that ring. There's no question about that. He can be vicious. He can uh, out-wrestle an opponent. He can do it all. And he can be a little different, too, as far as his uh, behavior. In that Adrian ring. now in control of things at the moment. Oh, my, with a knee left. And another one. Hmm. And the left hand. Adrian Honest in control at the moment. Over Jeff. Really. He gave him quite a shot there. I'll tell you, that was quite a left uh, hook that he got uh, his opponent on, Jeff Goodley. And now it looks like, let's see, he's going to. Oh, look at this. He put the thing at the. Oh! Now that again, that is, a, as far as I'm concerned, that's a power driver. He front face locks an opponent, then he drives him down with all, of, with all his weight, bringing an opponent right down on top of his head, which has the same effect as a power driver. And, and, and as you can see Jeff laying there, the effect and the results are just the same. It's just a different version of the power driver. Well, did you see there? Uh, well, let's get the official decision. Your winner, the adorable Adrian Adonis. And you know, Adrian really does think that he's adorable. I mean, look at Adrian. That may be for you, Bruno. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no comments. <laughs> oh, my. Did you see uh, the bow that was placed upon? Oh, he's got his mouth open. That's... Look, look at that. Reaches for the bow. And puts that You've on his head. You've got to be and kidding me. And here it is, the front face lock and right down to the power driver. Boom. Let's take you to the interview.